Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Playwright tutorial, we are going to learn about the locator operators. So what exactly is a locator operator within a Playwright? So to put it very simple, we can basically chain methods. So as we have covered briefly about the chaining previously as well. So we can chain methods and create a locator, for example, getting a get by page dot get by text or get by role and then chain them together to narrow down the results right and then there are and and or operators as well that we'll be able to use to make our locators really robust or have multiple attributes together to make sure that the button is of this role or basically the locator is of having a role button and then also having this particular title or this thing etc so you can have that and and or logic as well within the locator let's understand this with an example okay so for example here you can see that first we are getting the page items right or the the product items and then filtering right so basically we can create that uh, we, we can create a variable and then put that product that we are identifying into the variable right so the first line and then on that product we can then narrow down the results and we can chain we can use so this is what we have done in one go previously but then we can also do it in a separate way and we'll understand more about and and or in this particular video so let me go back to the vs code here and i'll say simply copy this one and let me paste it and i'll say locator operators locator operators okay and on this one now we are basically say for example we are logging in right and i'll remove everything so these three steps are basically saying we are logging into the portal right now the next thing is that on this portal sauce labs portal we know that these particular products right so these products if i simply go ahead and over over and see the div that contains these products okay so you'll see that here we have the inventory list and these are the items okay so let me get the x path of one of the items so say for example i simply want to get the x path of this particular whole item so i'll simply copy it i'll say control f and paste it and this is basically giving me the whole list right so i what i want is i only want this item okay so this one item so i can simply write my own x path and i'll say okay i'll say add class we know that there is a class right and class contains the value inventory item okay so i'll put that inventory item close the bracket and then you'll see six items are displayed now i can simply create a variable okay so i'll say cons and i'll say product items okay just any name and then we know that this is part of the page so i can say okay page dot get or we are locating by the the, the x path so i'll say page dot locator and then specify the selector which is basically the x path okay so i'll i'm using x path and then equal to sign and in the bracket open and close i'll put the x path in there okay so now whatever locator or whatever items are being identified with this particular locator this will be holding it right so this product items will be holding that now this is going to return you know most uh, like six items right because this is resolving to six item uh, and six items are being displayed right so the six items now on this particular product items okay on this product items next i can use the filter okay this is what we have done as well and this is what they are showing as well in their documentation that i can basically so we have stored a product okay product line and then i can go ahead and you know either put a filter in there or i can go ahead and create another locator or, or perform certain action or i can also try to have a you know uh, the expect or having a validation in there that whatever product items are there okay say for example i want to validate that six product items are listed okay so i can say i can use the expect and say so here i'll say expect and we have to make sure that we are using await right so i'll say await expect and expect what product items that we have okay product items and then dot to you will see all of the expect methods so to be to equal or uh, to have count right so we can say to have count because we are looking for the count okay and then this count how many items will be there this will be basically six right so it should 
then make sure that these items the items that are stored here have the count as six okay so here you can see that i have stored a locator in a particular variable and then i'm doing a chaining action on that particular locator okay so let's quickly try to run this and see that this particular expect or the validation passes or not okay so i'll simply go ahead and run it so it has logged in and then let's go to the result right so you'll see that one has passed that means that whatever expected results were there right so it has basically made sure that we are able to or these these link counts are there okay if i go ahead and change this to say for example five and then re-execute this let me re-execute if you see the console okay so you'll see it has failed and why it has failed you'll clearly see that we expected five but i actually received six items right so this is bri briefly you know about the expect as well now the next part is basically so this is matching inside a particular locator then we have matching two locators simultaneously so there is a method and which narrows down the existing locator by matching additional locator okay so when we say existing locator for example you have identified a locator by the role button okay so you'll see that we have identified a locator by button i can then use the and method and use another or provide another locator okay so to narrow down the result okay so i can say okay and get the locator with role which is of type button and that button has the title subscribe okay so something like that so this is basically what you can do with these two locators using the and okay so for example if we go to this swag labs right so let me go back here let me close it so this is basically the checkout right now on this page i can say okay get me the locator i can use the and operator to get the locator by role which is button and has text checkout okay so it will basically click on this button or it, i can go ahead and say get me the locator which is of which is which has the role button and then text remove but then there are two removes so i have to use another attribute okay to make sure that I'm only clicking on this remove and not this one, right? If I'm figuring or, or want to get in here. So there are multiple ways. So and will help us to narrow down the results based on matching two different locators. Okay. Similarly, if we go one or two, okay, one of the two, then there is a locator dot or. Okay. So if there is, for, for example, either the locator uh, is identified by the role okay or it has the role button or it has the role or it has the text this okay so in that particular case it will if it if it if the uh, script is able to find either of that then it will go ahead and execute it okay so let's see this in action for example here we were identifying so page dot get by placeholder right the username all right and then we were filling so for example on the same page let me go back let me open it here in the swab labs okay so i'll say go to the home page so now here let me inspect all right so the role here i can use you know something like x path all right or there is an id there is a type so let me check there is a the role is text box right so we can say text box and then the placeholder yeah let's do this all right so it will be easier to understand so how we can use and in this particular case so you'll see we can simply say so let me say page dot get by role okay so first thing is i'm trying to get the locators by role so by role these are text box username is text box and password is text box so there will be two resolved all right so i'm saying okay get by role and then within the role i'll say this is text box okay so now with text box i know that there will be two text boxes that will get resolved okay and then i can also say i can use the and operator okay and with the and operator i can have another locator okay so with the and operator i can say another locator so in the bracket i can start again and i can say get me the locator which has the role text box and has the placeholder okay and the placeholder as username okay so placeholder as username and then in that case we'll be 100 percent sure that we are actually typing in something in the text box and the placeholder is username right so get by placeholder and in the placeholder i'll type in username okay so in this particular case what will happen is 
that now with this and operator i am checking that the locator is of type text box or it has the role of text box as well as the placeholder is username only if both of these match then in that case the operation will be performed right so with this and operator you are double sure that yes you are actually looking for a text box but also you are looking for the placeholder for that text box so that is the benefit of it that you want to use multiple attributes of a particular locator to be double sure okay then you can use and so here in the previous case what what we were doing we were doing simply get by placeholder username and then using dot fill but if you want to make it more we want to make sure that yes i want to be 100 percent sure that i can use and operator and have multiple attribute matching there and then i can say dot fill all right and then use this whatever code was there okay to fill the username in that particular case all right now let me comment the, this one now how we can use or so we were using this password right the password thing so now instead of this what we can use we can use get by placeholder password okay so we'll simply say get by role all right so get by role text box and instead of and okay so we are getting by role text box again for the password and then get by placeholder password so instead of and what we will use is we'll use or this time okay so we are demonstrating both so you can basically know that yes how you are going to use and and or okay so page dot get by placeholder let me close this get by placeholder password and then filling the password in there okay so here i have to end with another bracket in there all right so let me put these in a separate line so you can easily see how it all looks clearly and i'll format it save it so you'll see that what we are doing we are doing get by role first okay so text box and we know that there might be multiple text boxes and in the login page we can see there are two text boxes so second time we are saying okay get by placeholder as well okay so and then in the first case we are saying get me the locator only when placeholder uh, or the role is text box and the placeholder is username right so in that case it will basically be able to find the text box which has the placeholder username in the second case i am saying get me by the role text box or by the placeholder so either if any one of this will match and let me change this to six so it doesn't fail and execute this okay so page has page has launched it has typed in the username okay so looks like there is some failure let's see what exactly it is and it looks like it has failed in here so it looks like there isn't some issue with the script let me quickly check so it is failing because it has found two locators and strict mode violation that's fine why it has resolved so input type id is username yeah it, because it has found two okay so i think guys the or is not going to work this way okay and i want to clarify this so i read this basically the documentation and it is very clear here that this and operator right it narrows down an existing locator by matching additional locator okay which is fine but with the all or alternative what they have done is if you would like to target one of the two or more elements okay and you don't know which one it will be then we can use or for example it is very clear like for example new email button sometimes there will be a security pop-up or something pop-up you are not sure when it will come and when it won't come then in that particular case if it appears you want to choose something okay click on something if it doesn't then you want to proceed with something else so in these sort of scenarios they are recommending to use or okay but in this case what i have done is i have used the get by role which is anyways resolving to two and i think as soon as it resolves to two elements it is failing say for example i click on this when i launch this particular website there is some pop-up but that pop-up doesn't appear all the time so i can say in case it appears click on this or it will wait if it doesn't then click on login button okay so that is the use case that they are recommending the playwright documentation is recommending for using the or locator one of the two alternative right so it will click on that so that's all for this video in the next video i'll cover about the list or counting the list items within playwright okay so thank you see you in the next lecture